This morning, the trial against Mexico's former safety chief, security chief rather, resumes in New York. Federal prosecutors say Gennaro Garcia Luna took millions from the cartels that he was supposed to be fighting, helping smuggle drugs into the U.S. Dre Clark is live outside the federal courthouse in New York with some of where that drama is playing out today. Good morning, Dre. Mitch, good morning. Federal prosecutors continue to call in former members of the Sinaloa drug cartel to testify against Gennaro Garcia Luna. Garcia Luna was once the head of Mexico's federal investigation agency. He also served as minister of public safety. He's accused of working for the cartel and bringing in millions of dollars in bribes and allowing the cartel to operate with impunity. And federal prosecutors say that Garcia Luna helped the cartel smuggle more than 50 tons of cocaine into the U.S. Now, now, the first person to testify for the prosecution yesterday was former cartel member Sergio Villarreal Barragan. Villarreal Barragan was a police officer in Mexico before joining the cartel full time. He was known as El Grande within the cartel. He claims he was in the room on several occasions when Garcia Luna received millions of dollars in bribes from the Sinaloa cartel. He also testified that Garcia Luna may have taken in more than $200 million for his work. He also said Garcia Luna gave the cartel information about police operations against cartel members and their rivals. Villarreal Barragan was arrested in Mexico in 2010 on drug trafficking and murder charges. He was extradited to the U.S. in 2012 and released in 2019 after reportedly striking a deal to testify against the cartel and about corruption within the Mexican federal government. But under cross-examination, defense attorneys called Villarreal Barragan a killer and a liar who can't be trusted. Now, there was a second member of the cartel who also testified yesterday. His name is Tirso Martinez Sanchez. He spoke about Garcia Luna's uh, connection to the cartel as well. Now, it was his job to smuggle drugs into places like Los Angeles, Chicago, and here in New York City. But later on, the judge said most, much of what he testified about on the stand yesterday was irrelevant. Meanwhile, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was the head of the Sinaloa drug cartel when it's alleged Garcia Luna was working for them. Uh, El Chapo was convicted here in the same courtroom in Brooklyn in 2019, and the same judge that sentenced El Chapo to life in prison is now the presiding judge over this trial involving Garcia Luna. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.